Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of my LEGO train container terminal work in progress series. Last episode was about making the train stop at the right position, which was a bit hard. So what I tried to do is using the yellow extendable arm. Since I need the wagons to stop at the right position for the unloading crane, I need to look at the back of the train to make the train stop at the right position since I'm using different lengths of locomotives. So what I basically did was moving the train past the uh, yellow extendable arm and when it was past this arm, the arm was extended like that and, and it was this little distance measurement that measured the distance to the back of the train and based on that I could make the train stop but I got different results. I used ultrasonic sensors and also IR, IR sensors and I got different results and the results were too far apart of each other so I was thinking like there must be something else so I thought like well maybe a laser based system or something like that so I googled something like uh, laser distance measurement and I got this very nice results so the first ones were actually professional laser guided distance sensors that are used in drones and stuff like that but they cost around 150 bucks <laughs> so that was a bit above budget so we're not gonna do that but I also managed to find a, another sensor that cost around 20 euros and that one did actually work pretty well but I still got different readings because of uh, the back of the train that isn't flat so I made a flat white surface of 8 by 8 studs and put it on the back of the train and then I got really good results I could make the train stop within one or two studs which is a good thing but I had this huge white surface on the back of the train which is not acceptable so I tried to make this surface a bit smaller but I couldn't make it smaller than six by six studs and that's according to me still too large next to that I had another problem that sometimes you can see that there's a bit of mechanical play in this thing and when it's positioned like that you can see that the beam is actually going upwards a bit so when there's a distance of 30 centimeters between the train and the distance sensor the beam is actually shooting over the train and didn't detect the train at all that happens so now and then and that's something that I continuously run into because you know I try industrial things with this and Lego has mechanical play and that's the problem and I can't I can't solve this you know it's it's part of Lego and that's not a problem but I need to find a way to work around it so also this distance sensor um, based on the extendable arm like that it's over we're not gonna do that so my next idea was using a sensor that you see here and what I basically do is um, I'm running the train up to the sensor and then the sensor has to look at when the train has completely passed the sensor and after a specific set time the train stopped and by doing it like that you are actually looking at the back of the train but there's also a downside with this system and that is that the sensor does not give a stable signal when the train is passing the sensor and that's because there are gaps between the wagons um, the color black isn't always detected very well so that's why the system needs to wait a certain amount of time before it actually can tell that the train has passed the sensor or, or that it's just a gap between the wagons and that time is set to be around two seconds so every time the system checks and when there's a gap the system starts to count and when the gap is still present two seconds later then it knows that the train has passed the sensor and the train is stopped immediately and by doing it like that you can actually make the train stop pretty precisely but while recording this I was thinking like yeah okay but if I'm gonna use another locomotive a smaller one and thus probably the speed of the train will be different as well and since we're looking at time speed is a relative to that so that means that the train will stop in a different position and that's not something we want so that's something that we're gonna try out now first I'm gonna try this Marsk locomotive and see how well it stops so we're gonna do four test runs like the last time and after that we're gonna try another locomotive and see how that one performs so let's have a look So what we see here is that the first test run was a bit off and 
I've seen that with other tests also. Uh, I don't know exactly why that is. The only thing I could think of is cold motor or something like that or cold and warm electronics. Uh, I don't know. So let's forget that one. Um, you see that the other ones are pretty close to each other. So let's now try a different locomotive which is smaller or lighter and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> so what we're seeing here is actually that this lighter train doesn't have the power to get up on the platform. So that means that the motor under this train is less powerful than the other one because of, I don't know, uh, it's more worn out, something like that. You know, these motors are 20 years old, so give them some slack. <laughs> so for me this is actually a good thing because now I see there's a huge difference in the motors. I was aware of that. I've seen that with uh, other layouts that I was building but but I never thought of it in this particular situation. So that means that this leaves me to just one option and that is not doing it like the way I'm trying to do it now. The only way to make sure that the train stops at the right position for the wagons is actually run it into the terminal and back it up again and when it's backing up it physically needs to touch something at the back so this thing where it needs to run into like uh, a wall or something could be retractable then i can use the same track but that gives maybe a bit of mechanical play since we have moving parts again so maybe i'm gonna use a switch point at the end you know, making a pause on the side track and then moving it backwards on another track and, and making it stop into a wall. Um, I don't know yet, I have to figure this out. So I'm sorry, I'm not there yet, but there is some progress. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope I can show you some real progress next time. Bye!